Hi guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans and this is The Electric Singularity. Now, in January of 2021, a BYD van was spotted in Australia by a reader of the online website caradvice.com.au. It turns out this van was fully electric and it's actually called the BYD E3. Now, they didn't know at the time, but I've since confirmed this information with BYD and with Australia's BYD distributor called Nextport. That van will come with a 50 kilowatt hour battery and it will be priced at $49,000 drive away. Obviously, this changes the game for tradies and people who need a van in Australia and soon in other countries. As I am 100% certain, BYD will be exporting these vans with the new Blade battery to other countries, not just to Australia. Now, four months ago, this van was spotted in a Sydney car park, and there was a lot of mystery around this van. Nobody knew the specifications, what the price would be, features, etc. But they did know at the time what the size would be. It's a little bit bigger than a Volkswagen Caddy, and a little bit smaller than a Toyota Hiace. Now, BYD have confirmed that this that this van will have a 50 kilowatt hour blade battery using their new cells, which is fantastic news, and a 700 kilo payload. Now, Nextport have informed me that this van is actually already in Australia. In fact, they have a number of these in Australia and they are ready to sell them now. All they are waiting for is for Australia to basically approve the vehicle for sale here. So they, they're going through the ADR regulations. As soon as they re receive the approval for sale here, these, car, these vans will be on sale. As you can imagine, there'll be a huge demand for these vehicles because this is exactly what people need. They need a vehicle this size that's all electric. Imagine the savings, the cost savings to somebody driving one of these things regularly for short trips all the time. The cost savings in not having to replace your brake pads, not having to re replace your rotors all the time, the cost savings in being able to charge every night, the time savings, you don't have to go to the petrol station. This van is way better than buying a petrol version. And now with the new Blade batteries, you can charge these batteries more than 3,000 times before the battery hits 80% battery degradation. What that means is the battery is going to outlive the life of the car. It's highly unlikely you're going to do more than 1.2 million kilometers in your van. But heck, if you do, good on you. All power to you. If you do that many kilometers in this thing, you're going to be saving a lot of money over the lifetime of ownership of that vehicle. Now, obviously, the price for an equivalent van, petrol powered or diesel powered, as we here in Australia like to, to buy, is not much different. Maybe 5% less. You're definitely going to save a heck of a lot more money. Imagine the service cost savings in this thing. You know, servicing an electric vehicle saves you way more money than the equivalent ICE-powered vehicle. Now, when Car Advice first reported on this, they said little was known. Well, obviously, now you know the specifications. BYD, getting back to the company, they're one of China's biggest battery producers, and they've previously supplied Nokia and Motorola with mobile phone batteries. At one point, BYD had more than half of the world's mobile phone, mobile phone battery market. Now, recent reports have shown that BYD will be supplying Toyota with the skateboard, meaning they will be supplying them with the batteries, the motors, the platform basically for Toyota to build their car, to build an electric car. In addition to that, they'll also be supplying Hyundai in China with batteries as well. So BYD are not a small company. In fact, they did nearly as much revenue in total as Tesla did last year and made nearly as much profit as well. They made around 600 million US dollars in profit. They're not a Chinese company that is small. They're a big company and they know what they're doing. Now, Nextport also are heavily backed in Australia. You can be confident that they're going to, they're going to do a good job in giving you the service you need with these vans. This is what I honestly believe. I'm not paid a cent by them. I honestly believe that they're taking this very seriously. They've got the NRMA providing servicing. And so basically I'm confident if you're in the market for a van, this is the way you should go. I mean, honestly, if you're in the market for a van and you don't order one of these, 
The only possible reason in my mind is because it's not the right size for you. Maybe you want something bigger, maybe you want something smaller. But honestly, if I were you, go to the website right now, put down your name, register your interest because these things are going to sell out really quickly. So I'll put a link in the description of this video for where you can actually pre-order these vehicles. So make sure you do that. Um, so Chinese cars. Well, Chinese cars are actually significantly improving. Amid an overall market slump in Australia, Australians bought a record number of Chinese cars for the second year in a row in 2020. A total of 31,000 cars made in China were reported as sold in Australia last year, an increase of 71% compared to the prior year when the previous record of 18,000 were reported as sold. Guys, you can expect to see that double again this year with BYD bringing in six new models, including the EA1 hatchback, which is going to sell like crazy. The BYD Han sedan, which is going to be priced at 49,000 drive away also. And the BYD Tang SUV, which is going to be priced the base model at 49,000 drive away also. You can see the prices of these vehicles is incredibly sharp and you'll see the battery technology they're now using is also next level. It's incredibly impressive. The more research that I've done on the batteries that BYD are now manufacturing, the more impressed I am by the company. Guys, thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe so that I can continue to bring you more information about Chinese car companies, electric car companies, Tesla, BYD, uh, NEO, all of those companies I'm going to be making more and more videos about and really going into research and in-depth analysis of these companies about why you should necessarily invest or not invest. Some of them I think you shouldn't invest in, but BYD is a company you, if you're interested in investing in the stock market, I highly re recommend this as a company you invest in. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.